ki khubor ka batisi tv lawan ra shapi da ka orange nissan loom so pho near fire brigade shillong admissions are open at bdw international school enroll now Naki phaut li ki kin hon jong ki seng samla puli na kleng ka than sa te lam mi ngi ki ba don ye ki slam tre kam hapo ka ni ka jilla mi galia ki li a sim ban ta lang ha ka jingelang bala pin long da ka north east students organization lembat ka khasi students union ha dong ba shlong ha ka khandai tri ko banai no pra ar hazar ar phuai ban pin pao ye ka jing yat li bat ka jing snow lem halor ka jing sha siat yap jong ki khat sangut ki nong bala na ka jat ban reu na ga ha ka kinhon para special force jong ka kinhon shipai india kabala jia ha ka snong uting jong ka jilla nagalan ha ka sautari ko banai no pra ar hajar ar phuai hadin ka jingelang kit khot jong ki ki kinhon ba pher ba pher ki lapun long ru ka jingthang mambati ha khmat u mot dur jong u wo kyang nang ba kabadan hajan ka civil hospital shillong Uchaman jong ka nesu uba Samuel B Jerwa haba kren hagani ka jingelang uloong ba ka ni ka kin hon jong ki samla pule ka thain sate lam mi ngi ka dawa ya ka sarkar India ba ka dei ban wengno mardor ya ka ain arm for special powers act na ka thain sate lam mi ngi lada ang note ban yo i ya ka song sok song sain hapo ki jilla jong ka ni ka thain Ulo ongru ba gajing pen jari jong ka sarkar India yagani ga an yak jakor ka long tang man pen kebum ya ka sor jong ki reulom ka ni ka than sa Thailand mi ngi ki ba dawa yala ka jong ka hong Association express grief at the incident which occurred in the Mon district of Nagaland on the 4th of December. I, on behalf of the of I, on behalf of the entire Karabi community, uh, express uh, my deepest condolence to the bereaved family, to the Naga people, and we demand and we demand the union the government to immediately repeal the AFSPA. From the entire region of Northeast, and I stand in solidarity with the people of Naga, and as well as with them, and the, as well as with the family members of the deceased, and I pledge my support and sympathy towards the brethren of Nagaland, particularly Konyak brothers, and also to the to the others oppressed communities. Well, today's. Victims are the Nagas, and we don't know who is going to be the next. It could be me. It could be you. It could be the Khasis. It could be the Garos. It could be the Mizos. It could be the Karbis. We don't know who and what and where is going to be the next incident like this. You know, it's so sad to see a, it's so sad to see our fellow Northeast people die without doing anything. And I wonder why can't the military can't they can't even differentiate. Terrorist and civilians. I be so fool enough. They can't even differentiate that. Don't you think that this incident could have been prevented? I'm pretty sure, and I'm quite sure this uh, incident could have been prevented if they had used the sense. You know, it's very sad, and there are still many untold stories, untold and unknown cases like this there in many parts of Northeast. It's so sad. That we are, they are not being known. They are not known. The uh, the untold cases. Well, I, you know, I wonder why we the Northeast people are always the victim of rape. Are always the victim of genocide. Why, why, you know, why can the government of India can ensure peace and security in our in our region? You know, few months back. 
the Home Minister himself came straight to Shillong a few months back. And days after he left Shillong, we have seen clashes in the Mizoram and Assam border. What is this? And we have seen clashes in the border of Assam and Meghalaya. And today, in Nagaland, why? Why can't the government of ensure the government of India ensure peace and security in the Northeast? Why are they? What is their intention? What's their evil plans towards the people of Northeast? That's the question we must ask to the government of India. Why? Why is this AFS, AFSPA? Do you think this is an act? Well, I would say this not. It is not an act. It is a flaw. It's not a law. I would say it is a flaw. That AFSP is not a law if it's a flaw. So, my dear brothers and sisters, what I would like, what I want you to remind is that let's be united, no matter what culture, irrespective of what culture, what language you speak, no matter what, irrespective, no matter it doesn't matter what food you eat, what language you speak, let's be united. And in fact, you know, the government of India may come up with such evil plans to intimidate, you know, to to suppress the unity of Northeast, our brethren. But let's not dissolve, let's not abolish the spirit of Northeast, the spirit of brotherhood among our Northeast. You know, at the time has come for us to be united at this very moment. You know, we should not forget, let's be united that the government of India should repeal, should immediately repeal this, this evil law from the entire Northeast. If, if the government can't do anything, if the Prime Minister, if the so-called Prime Minister Narendra Modi can't uh, ensure peace and security in our region, better, he better resign. Right? He better resign. Yes or no? Yes. He better resign. Resign Modi! If he can't provide peace and security to the people of Northeast. Tribal life matters. Long live tribal unity. God bless you. Uh, God bless Northeast. Thank you, Kardom and Kublai. How many years more do you think it will take for the government to find out what is the solution to the problem of Northeast? How many years? 63 years and people have been dying on both the fronts. If any of you think that the people who are serving in the army do not come from among yourself, you are wrong. But at the same time, Armed Forces Special Powers Act given to the army, what business does the army have in civilian area? What business? What, what is the police for? What is the paramilitary for? What business does the army have in, in civilian areas? First of all, I would like to give my condolences to the families of the people who died, Naga people who died, people from the army who died. I would also like to extend my condolences to General Rawat and his wife who died yesterday and along with them 12 other officers of the army, they died yesterday. To feel bad for one of my brother who died in Nagaland and not to feel bad for the other brother who's dying because the government is not listening to the voice of the people. That is not true, that is not good, and I cannot support it. But AFPA should not exist anymore. It is time that it should be taken away from the legislation, and this should be the end of it. How many of you know people who serve in the army, who have families in the army, friends in the army, they know the people in the army, just raise your hands. See, if his brother from the army dies, won't you feel sad? All the peoples, a citizen of India dies whether it, it's killed by a terrorist or it's killed by the army. But at the, same, at the same time, this law, Armed Forces Special Power Act, this cannot exist anymore. This is the time that it ends. And it will end only if you all will unite. You have to see how people in the center, they look at you. They look at you like somebody has come from Meghalaya, somebody has come from Nagaland. There's a Manipuri, there's a Matei, there's a Khasi, there's a Garo. There are, there are separations everywhere. Narrow domestic walls which are dividing you. And until unless you unite, do you know you have 24 seats in the parliament? 
you can bring a major change in the way the parliamentary democracy works by making sure that the parliamentarians that you send to the parliament, they are good people. But how do you vote? I know him. I know her. It's not about the merits anymore. He's from my caste. He's from my tribe. He's from my state. No. You have to end this. You have to bring merit to democracy. Until unless the people sitting on the places, on, on democratic places, they are willing to change this. You will just be sitting here, standing here and crying and nothing will happen. No change will come. So it's time. I am so grateful to Northeast Student Organization that they, that they organized this event and they brought people together because there is a cause. Six people died for no reason. They were just sitting in a truck traveling from point A to point B and somebody comes and shoots them. But you have to understand, I am from a legal fraternity. You have to understand, there's a, there's a thing called Disturbed Areas Act. Until unless the state government imposes Disturbed Areas Act on a certain area, Armed Forces Special Powers Act cannot be included there, cannot be implemented there. So the state government is also liable if somebody dies. Section 3 of the Armed Forces Special Power Act says that until unless the state government wants them to be there, they cannot be there. The state government invites them there and once invited, they will not leave for three months. Don't you think the state government is also answerable, equally answerable as the central government? What business does the army have in civilian areas? And all the people sitting in Delhi, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Telangana, Maharashtra, Gujarat, if they are supporting AFPA in certain areas, why don't they call their chief minister and tell them impose AFPA in their area as well? Let them see how army treats law and order. This is not the way it should happen anymore. And until unless you unite and speak collectively, it's not going to change. So unite. The first thing is unite. You are not Khasi, you are not Garo, you are not Mate, you are not Naga, you are not Arnachali. You are just people and citizen of India and nothing else. And you deserve equal treatment and equal protection of law as promised in Article 14. This is not the way and it should not continue like this. This should be the end of it. You should speak so loudly that even the deaf can hear you. You should write so clearly that even the blinds can read you. This is the time you go on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram and you show your protest that you are not going to take this anymore. This is the end of it. This is the time that you collectively shout together that this is the time that the government ends AFSPA for good. On your own mother's lip. Is there any news grievous than this? I'm sure it's, there is no other news grievous than this. They were just they were normal citizens. They could they could ask they could if they uh, doubting someone is not a big issue, but they could inquire. Direct shooting is not a South Indian movie that they will directly shoot. They said after the killing they are saying that they are mistaken. But what the sorry word can wipe tears from the departed soul's family? Many mothers have lost their son, their heart were empty. Many fathers have lost their support system, brothers, sisters, wives. A sorry cannot compensate all this. Not uh, through your esteemed media channels, I will ask Narendra Modi. During elections, he came once, two, thrice, many times to, to Assam. Where is he now? Why every time Northeast? And I have seen after coalition visits or meeting about that uh, area dispute, after generally some issues come up, why? What game is playing? It's time to unite. We are not. It is not the first time. During CAA also, they are just imposed. Every time we just to impose, but while taking our resources, they, they, uh, they think notice is a boot. But while imposing in, uh, laws, they just impose. 
we don't have feelings. We don't feel for our brothers and sisters. Today, on behalf of SMS Students Association, I provide my condolences to all the departed souls, to their families, and I condemn government should think something. Only we are suspending those army officials will not be the solution because this act has entered many lives. Not this is not first time. Then. They have to think that they have to come with with a permanent solution. If not, they some other will kill. They have to think something. Today, I will not say hail Assam or hail Meghalaya or hail Nagaland. I will today today I will say hail Northeast because we have to be together to fight. With one finger, we cannot fight it with anyone. But when we join our fingers together, we can blow them out. Peacefully, we'll do this, and we'll prove that not is citizens are not just people. They are just they are strong enough to fight them and stand on on their cause. Thank you. They slap us, and we say we are peace-loving people. They spit on us, and when we fight back, what do they say? Insurgents, terrorists. What are we supposed to do? We all know the history of Mizoram, Northeast, Nagaland. Why are there insurgents in these places? Let me tell you an example of my state. Our leaders went to the authorities asking for food because there is a the regular famine in Mizoram that happens every 40 or 50 years. But the leader said, no such thing will happen. So the Mizo people had to go back. They had to steal from the state treasuries. And what does the center do? They send jet fighters to bomb ISOL. And when the people take up arms, they call us terrorists, they call us insurgents. One thing that should be clear is that AFSPA is not helping anyone. It is only a license to kill. It is a license to force brother to kill his own brother. It is obsolete. It is useless. If those people at the center can come up with a beautiful parliamentary vista in a short amount of time, a beautiful statue in such a short period of time, why can't they think of something new? 60 plus years it has been with this hopeless half spa. We are peace-loving people. Last night I was really annoyed at the news when the anchor asked one of the Naga Students Union leaders, you said you are peace-loving people, how come they are terrorists in your state? How come they are insurgents? I'll say this on behalf of them because it's not nice for them to, to talk about this. We have a similar history with Nagaland. We are peace-loving people means our ancestors fought tooth and nail. They shed so much blood to ensure that their children, we have a peaceful world. That is what peaceful community means. That does not mean that if someone comes into a house, we'll just say, please, please go out. You're not supposed to come here. If a thief, come, thief comes in, of course we'll fight back. That does not mean that we don't love peace. We love peace so much that we will fight till the end to have peace. So I would like to say on behalf of my Naga people, especially the Eastern Naga communities do not wake up the headhunters of these places. Repeal AFSPA. Let us all live in peace. Thank you. Let us unite together. Especially, I appeal to UNESCO, Northeast Students Organization. Let us come together. The government of India would like to protect the land but they fail to protect us. And who is going to protect us? We are people together. We will fight. We have been till the end. We will fight. We will never give up. And this today, we stand by the side of the families. Not only Nagas. But as a notice, we appeal the government of India to repeal this. 
the Armed Special Power Act for the land. This is not going to be a solution. This act is putting a fire and this will not bring any solution. People of Northeast, especially the students' community, let us come together. Let us wake up. Let us watch each other's back from today onwards. Let's move forward. Not only today, but from today onwards, let's stand together. Today, I would like to. Uh, what I would like to say is that uh, since the year 1958, this aid was implemented in our state. And since then, we have been coming across such incidents. This is not the first time. It has been going on since 1958. When are we going to stop? When, when are we going to raise our voice and say no to Asfa? After, in the, after spilling thousands of blood? We students here, let us all join against this egg and say no to Asfa. In a statement by uh, Amit Shah, he, he stated he stated that vehicles was signaled to stop, but he tried to flee. But there was a two survivor, and out of that, one of the survivors said, "We were not signaled to stop. They they shoot us directly without any further warning." So I would like to caution to Amit Shah that were you there, were you present in that particular uh, incident when it took place? Do you have any superpowers that you see what is going on? This. This guy, our brother, who survived from this egg, who survived from this barbaric egg, battling for his life in hospital, stated that they were not born. I would also like to question the Indian Army. We say that you are the pride and honor of the country. But I see no pride and honor in killing innocent, unarmed civilians. What do you have to say for that? Let us all join hands against this egg, like we, we, we stood here as one. Let us, let us not stop until and unless justice is served. Last but not the least, what I want to say is that we are not against army, but we are against this egg called ASFA that implements, that grants unlimited power to the army to shoot without, no, without a mere suspicion. Long live, not, long live North Eastern people, long live humanity. Thank you very much. The barbaric incident which took place at Otin village under Mon District, Nagaland, where 14 of our innocent brothers were being killed. We, the Nagal students in Shilong, in its highest term, condemn such barbaric inhuman killing of our Naga brothers. On the 4th of December, the innocent villagers we are returning back to the rest of the people after a hard work day. We are the Indian armed force and pushed and murdered those innocent and armed civilians mercilessly during the uh, broad daylight. And stating that it was a mistaken identity. How could the Indian armed force make such mistake? How shameless can they be? calling themselves as security special force. Our life is not a game. We don't have an extra life. This barbaric incident is a big discouragement to the people of the Nagas and to the people of, of the Nordis. This we will not tolerate. And this nobody will tolerate at any cost. <laughs> the responsible uh, Indian Armed Force personnel has to be brought to justice. We will fight until justice is served, and we will fight until justice is prevailed. And over the past years, we have suffered enough by the Indian Armed Force. The army itself should be part of the solution, but instead, they have become a part of the problem. We want peace. We want to live in peace. As everyone has said, we are peace-loving people. But until we are free, we can't live in peace. Therefore, today we demand the central government to revoke the draconian law, so-called Armed Forces Act, Special, uh, Special Power Act. And today, the Naga people as a whole, with the support of the Nordic brothers and sisters, we stand firm 
united with our connect brothers and sisters. We will fight together with you till the end. And on behalf of the Nagas Twins in Inshallah, I express my deepest condolence to the Berea family and wish the injured person a speedy recovery. May the departed soul of our brothers rest in eternal peace. And may God be with us during this darkest day. Lugnali. We express in strongest terms our protest against the security forces who on that fateful night, fateful day on the 4th of December, have perpetrated a heinous crime, a barbaric act towards the villagers of voting in the Mon district of Nagaland, which resulted to the death of 14 villagers and injuries to many others. Well, brothers and sisters, this is not a one-off incident that happened in Nagaland. This particular incident has brought back bitter memories of the past where villagers in Manipur, in Nagaland, have suffered the same fate where the army personnel, the security forces, they'll just come and swoop down on the village and kill the men folk, rape the women folk, and torture the innocent villagers for days on end. This has been happening since 1950s till today. The security forces in the whole of the northeastern region have been committing these crimes from time to time. We have seen the operations in the state of Assam. We have seen the suppression, the oppression by the armed forces in the state of Tripura. And also, we must have heard about the bombing in Aizol, in Mizoram in 1966 by the Indian the Air Force of the Indian, of the Indian Armed Forces. Well, brothers and sisters, we used to wonder why this is happening in the northeastern states of India. Is it because of the factors that the government of India this portrays the mindset and attitude of the government of India that they have towards the people of the northeastern region? Is it because that we are different in looks and features? We eat differently, our language is different, our culture is different. And also is it because that the indigenous people of the northeastern region have been demanding for their rights, for their protection from any internal and external aggression right from the time when India has got its independence. The act committed by the security forces has further been emboldened by the imposition of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958. This act, my brothers and sisters, we should know that this, is not, this was not an Indian act created by the Parliament of India. This AFSPA was brought, imposed first by the colonial rulers of the time, the British, in August of 1942 to suppress the Quit India movement. And after India attained its independence, in which the people of Northeast have also fought for the independence from the British, that very same government, after having attained its independence, is imposing the same law the same colonial law upon its own people. This only reflects the mindset and attitude that the government of India has towards the people of the, of the northeastern region. NESO has been demanding for the removal, for the repeal of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act, along with so many other organizations, so many civil societies have been demanding for the repeal of this act. But the government of India, instead of repealing this act, has turned a deaf ear to this demand and instead it continued with the imposition of this draconian law. And I think a time has come where we should call upon 
the government of India that if it thinks that Northeast is still part of India, that its first step it should be to repeal this AFSPA from the whole of the Northeastern region. We also gathered here today to express our solidarity with our brothers in Nagaland, especially in the one district of Nagaland, of the pain and suffering that they are enduring because of this barbaric act committed by the trigger happy security forces of that area. NESO is organizing this protest in the whole of the northeastern region, in the different states, in all the states of the northeastern region, the state capital, and also here in Meghalaya, also in Tura, in Nagaro Hills district. To express a resentment, a protest against the government of India, the armed forces, and also to show our solidarity with the people in Nagaland. To show that we are one, even though we are divided fiscally through artificial boundaries, but emotionally we are one. If the people of Nagaland are suffering, the whole of North Eastern region is also suffering. And this we have to stand united against any forces that are inimical to our interests. They will try to divide us in order to weaken a resolve, in order to weaken a, a, a fight. But we have to be aware of all these forces who are against the interests of the unity of the Northeastern region. And once again, I call upon each and every one of us that we should stand united in our fight against this draconian law. And I call upon the respective state governments of each of the state of the Northeastern region that they should pursue, should push the central government for the repeal of this draconian act from the whole of the Northeastern region. And if the government of India doesn't listen to the voice of the people, it only shows two things, that it treats the Northeastern region as a colony, not as a part of a nation or part of a country. And at the same time, it wants to impose this draconian law in order to suppress and oppress the voice of the people through military might. But this will have an after effect. It will further alienate the indigenous people of the northeastern region.